Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number three from the uh, 2015 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. And it's uh, one of those problems where somebody's kind of moving in a straight line, you have to ask, uh, answer all kinds of questions about it. Uh, so, let's get started. So we have this table of values, and the first question is use the table to estimate V prime of 16. So, uh, that's not a bad question at all. So, V prime of 16, 16, I look at the T values in the table, uh, 12 and 20. Uh, 12 is the value immediately below, and 20 is the value immediately above. So I'm going to use uh, this box, uh, 12,200, and this box, 2,240. So I'm going to do V of 20 minus V of 12 over 20 minus 12, um, and then fill in the values, so 240 minus 200, like that. Um, and that, uh, if you throw some units on there, which would be, uh, what am I doing, meters per minute squared, uh, that would be fine, or you can uh, simplify it. So 5 meters per minute squared. And uh, we're on to the next part. So the next part is kind of the classic, what does uh, the integral of the absolute value of velocity mean? So we have uh, the integral from 0 to 40 of the absolute value of v of t dt represents, uh, that's going to be total distance traveled. So I like to write that down immediately, and then I throw in the context. Um, so it's total distance traveled um, by Joanna, Johanna, uh, however you say that, uh, on, well, in, in meters, those are your units, and uh, on the time interval t equals 0 to t equals 40 minutes. So basically during her jog. Um, okay. So now we have to approximate this using a right Riemann sum. So I like to write the integral first, uh, use the approximately equal to sign, and now what I'm going to do is uh, kind of mark up my table. So the first thing, I go from 0 to 12, so that's 12, and then I use 200, which is the right endpoint. Then I'm going to go from 12 to 20, which is 8, and use the right endpoint, 240. Then I go from 20 to 24, that's 4, and then I'm going to use the absolute value of negative 220 because uh, we're doing the absolute value of V of T. And then finally, from 24 to 40, um, which is 16, and I have to use 150. So I'm going to fill those in. Uh, this problem is a really good problem to uh, just leave things unsimplified. Uh, so I would put this and then meters, and that would be it. But if you're one of those people who just has a pressing need to simplify, um, I got... Uh, 7,600 meters right there. Um, so the next part, we introduce a guy named Bob who's riding a bicycle. Uh, and we are asked to find his acceleration. So uh, first thing to note is that B of T, what you're given, is actually his velocity. So uh, that's in meters per minute, so that's a velocity. So the derivative of that, B prime, is his acceleration. Um, it's just polynomial, so that's an easy derivative. And that'll have units meters per minute squared. And so I need to find B prime of 5, so I'm going to plug in. Uh, and that's in meters per minute squared. Uh, and that would be Bob's acceleration. So we could stop there, or if you need to, uh, you could say that Bob's acceleration is 15 meters per minute squared at t equals 5. Um, and that's really all there is to that part. And then the next part is to find Bob's average velocity. So the only way you could totally screw this up is to not realize that B of T is Bob's velocity. So average velocity is integral divided by interval. So I want the integral from 0 to 10 of B of T dt divided by 10 minus 0. And now I am going to calculate that. So it's 1 tenth. And then I integrate B of T. And I need to go from 0 to 10. And so that's going to be 1 tenth, and now I'm plugging in 10. What's nice is that the lower bound is 0, so everything zeroes out. Look at that. Uh, meters per minute, and uh, probably probably stop there. But uh, if you need to simplify, it's not really that bad. Um, you end up with 350 meters per minute. Um, and that's all there was to this question, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.